Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations. So this project, uh, I'm taking on a couple Land Rovers. Uh, I've had these for uh, a long time. So I'm going to do a pair of them. This is a dark blue one. And let me see if I can read this. So there we go. The Land Rover Safari number 12. So... I'm um, just going to do a restoration. Uh, oftentimes, I don't ever customize Matchbox cars. Uh, very rarely will I customize. Uh, normally, I just like to restore uh, Matchbox cars and customize any other brand. Um, once in a while, I will restore other brands, but I think it's fun customizing also, especially like Hot Wheels and things like that. So anyway, so there's the first one. And here is the second one. Um, I've already taken out the axles and the tires. So this is a different color. And it's the same one, number 12. It's a different color. So I'm going to try to match the colors uh, the best I can. So, all right. So stay tuned. I already have this one apart. And let me take the other one apart. All right. So Land Rover Safari. Stay tuned. All right, so here's the safari. So like I said, I've already uh, taken a lot of this off. So here's the luggage carrier. It's kind of beat up. Um, I don't know what color this is. So it's almost like a rust color. So that'll be kind of hard to match up. I am going to paint that. And here's the tires. Four of them, all in pretty good shape. I'll Put a fresh coat of paint on them. And let me see what we got going on here. And it looks like, there we go. So, here's the uh, window unit. Looks like it could use a little sanding and polishing. It's got a couple of surface cracks. And here's the body, the main casting. Nothing broken. Oh, sorry, let me get it back in the camera. Okay, so there's that one. And I put everything together. Oh, and here's the second one. Same thing. I'm going to, oh, is a window unit kind of, oh, look at that. Normally they're held in by rivets. So there's that. But the this here, let me see how this is held in. Maybe it just pop off. All right. There we go. All right. Ooh, look at that. Looks like somebody painted it. Huh. It's amazing the stuff that you find out when you take things apart. But you know what, though? They did a pretty good job painting around it, unless they took it off. Maybe they may have taken it off. So I thought it was another color. That would have been cool. So it looks like I'll be painting them both the same color. All right. Let me, let me get a good camera shot here. So here's all the pieces. So, looks like I'll be painting that to the original color. All right, cool. So, let me take these to the stripper and others uh, part soap and water, and we'll get this process started. Stay tuned. All right, so here are the two Land Rover Safaris. Got them all uh, primered up. And I'll tell you one thing, these, these castings have a lot of good detail too. I, uh, I love that front radiator. That's, that's pretty cool. And the lights and everything. I'm excited to put a fresh coat of paint on these and do the tires. It's going to look really cool. All right, stay tuned. All right, so here are the pieces to the Land Rover Safaris. So, cleaned up the interiors, 
soap and water and waxed or buffed the window units, painted the tires, and painted the bases. And the only thing I didn't do was anything to these. Uh, I didn't really want to mess up the paint color. And, you know, they're not in that bad a shape. Um, they're not brand new, that's for sure. But, all right, let me put this these together and do the final reveal. All right, it is time for the final reveal of the Land Rover Safaris. So, as I was preparing these for paint, I went on Google Images and noticed that it also came in a green color. Because I was going to paint them both the same color. So, bonus for me. Now I have two for my collection. So, let's do a little uh, looking. So, I actually painted the base. Let me get the right angle here. Um, let me see here. There we go. A Land Rover Safari. So I painted the base and I painted the tires. There we go. Not a lot of detail on these. So that was actually kind of good. Uh, less for me to mess up. Um, I didn't paint the luggage racks because I didn't really want to risk painting them a different color. Um, the cars came out pretty close. So anyway... Uh, there they are. Two Matchbox regular wheel uh, Land Rover Safaris. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Leave a comment if you want. Subscribe if you want to. And, and uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one.